Lately, we have been doing live interviews with married couples on love and marriage. Well, during our latest interview, a viewer asked the question, how can you determine whether it is you, the wife, or the husband who has issues that are negatively affecting the marriage? Well, ladies, I guess had a well thought out assignment in which that you can implement to get your answer. Yeah, we got a question here because I think we need to. So how do you dif dif differentiate? Thank you. If it's you that in the way that's in the way or if or if it's the man that has issues that affect the marriage. In, in my humble opinion, I think if you're having issues, it's good to get counsel. But if you're trying to find out if it's you or the husband or you're having issues with the husband's issues, I would take a Benjamin Franklin scale for myself. And a Benjamin Franklin scale is nothing but a plank piece of paper and a line die in the middle. And I would write the pros of me and the cons of me. And then I would start working on my cons first before I start looking at anybody else. And if the husband does have issues, then I'm going to start also, I'm going to start a devotion on every single scripture in the Bible that tells me what to do as a wife, as a woman. And I'm not going to focus on that person because if there's two people entangled in the problem, I need to make sure, how do you know it's not you? Mm -hmm. How you know it's not you? If you and your husband have talked and you know he has some issues that came from childhood, from dysfunction, some things that nature, those things need to be worked on. The Holy Spirit knows how to intervene on him. You don't know how to do it. I'm a professional counselor. I'm a counselor by education, but I can't counsel my husband. That's not the way it's supposed to go. You know, and he's told me that before too, like, don't try counseling me. Cause you know, when you super <laughs> mega saved and you know everything, that's where you're going. But um, I think how you differentiate is write it down. You separate and deal with yourself first. And you can write down your husband's pros and cons and you can take them to God. But I don't think you should take a list and give it to that husband. Say, here is your problems because you have to deal with your own. The Holy Spirit will cause him to speak to you and tell you what his problems are. That's your name. Okay. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, so if that answered the question. Your, your, your wife holding it down, bro. Yeah. She holding yeah. it down. There she go again, man. I got total confidence in her. <laughs> but she just let the cat out the bag. She said she's a professional counselor. Yeah. I am a counselor by trade, and that's what I did in Hollywood, California. And he told uh -huh. you, you, know, you can't counsel your husband. I don't care if you're an MFT. I don't care what you are. I don't care what the alphabet is behind your name. You can't bring that home and try to do it. I don't care what your title is in the church. You can't bring that home. You know, if, if you have a working spiritual relationship where you have a ministry relationship where the apostle and prophet are supposed to work together and things, that's one place. But if you're talking about the issues in the family and the issues in the house, mm -hmm. then you're going to have to deal with you. I just think women have gotten to be, be nice. <laughs> women have gotten to be a lot of lifted up because we are dealing with hurt men. But if you married a hurt man, then it's your job to make sure he has no need for spoil. So that if he doesn't need to go somewhere to look to have his wounds healed. So the Holy Spirit is smart enough to teach you how to speak. It's it's everything the Holy Spirit can do. It's, you know, you married him dysfunctional. You guys were equal when you laid down and came up with children. You were equal. You, you I don't care if he's six feet tall and you five feet. Somehow you was the same. Everything was equal when you laid down. <laughs> so now if you have something you need to deal with, this, a, wife, a wife has a big job and the answers are in the book. If you don't know how to answer them, it's better to be quiet and get in Proverbs and start there. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs>